was the walled city as the oldest district in Manila. This is all that left of the fortified city which served as the center of Spanish colonialism. Intramural served as Manila from the time it was established in 1571 to the end of Spanish sovereignty in 1898. Intramuros, the name translates as within the walls, the 59 hectares within the original 20 foot thick wall contained Manila Cathedral, Fort Santiago, San Agustin Church, the University of the City of Manila, and other monuments. And this place called Puerta del Parian. They said that this is a historical landmark in Manila. The Parian or marketplace was created to provide a designated area for selling. It has a nice ambiance, really comfortable and cozy location. Going here is really affordable and the personnel is very friendly. This place is located at 465 Morales Street in Chamorros, Manila. Way back at 1900s, the gate was named after the Parian de Arocero, one of the earliest concentrations of Chinese merchants located across the city where the Metropolitan Theater now stands. Built in 1593, it is one earliest entrances to Intramuros. It became the official entrance of the Governor General, received the keys of city from the Cabildo. The Parian Gate was severely damaged by artillery shelling during the Battle of Manila. Restoration began in 1969, completed in 1982. We really recommend this place to everyone because it will make us reminisce the past. The Manila Cathedral, located in the heart of Intramuros, is a historic landmark that has witnessed many significant events in Philippine history. Western churches architecture was brought to the Philippines in 1521. The Manila Cathedral is one of the important and opulent churches constructed during Spanish colonialism. The most recent version of historic church of Manila is the Manila Cathedral. It is a masterwork of architecture having been erected between 1954 and 1958 under the direction of Filipino architect Fernando H. Ocampo. After the old building was destroyed during World War II, the Manila Cathedral is not a historical significant. It is also a priceless work of art in and of itself. Inside is a grand church filled with the painting and sculpture. The Manila Cathedral stands as a symbol of Philippine cultural and religious heritage. It reminds us of the importance of preserving our history and traditions for the next generation to come. Today, Manila Cathedral is not only a place of worship but also a popular tourist destination. It stands as a symbol of Philippines' cultural and religion heritage and reminds us of the importance of preserving our history and traditions for future generations. Welcome to Fort Santiago, a citadel that has stood as a witness to the Philippines' ferocious history. Today, we'll take a closer look at this iconic structure and learn more about its significance in Philippine history. Fort Santiago was built in 1571 by the Spanish conquistador Miguel Lopez de Legazpi to protect the city of Manila from attacks by foreign invaders. The fort was built with stone and mortar and was equipped with cannons and artillery. Throughout the centuries, Fort Santiago served as a military prison during the Spanish colonial period. Many Filipino patriots, including the national hero Jose Rizal, were imprisoned and executed here. Today, the Rizal Shrine stands as a testament to Rizal's life and legacy. The dungeon in Fort Santiago was a place of suffering and despair for prisoners. It was here where Rizal was held before his execution. Prisoners were su subjected to harsh conditions and torture, with no windows or ventilation to provide relief from oppressive heat and humidity. Today, Fort Santiago is a popular tourist destination 
where visitors can explore its various neighbors, walk along the walls, and see the result shine. It is also a reminder of the country's struggle for freedom and independence. Fort St. Chango stands as a symbol of the Philippines' resilience and strength in the face of adversity. It reminds us of the importance of remembering our past and the sacrifices made by our forefathers to ensure a better future.